Winner number five, Yankee MJ, Mark Silva, Yannick Jingra. Number six, Westland Sun. He's owned by Chris Ryder and driven by Cat Manzi. Also a round one winner, number seven, he's striking Bart Glass and Bob Kaufman co-own Ron Pierce. Number eight, self-professed Martin Scharf, Mike Lachance, his driver. And number nine, Smooth Muscles, Lee and Linda DeVisser, Dave Miller's in the sulky behind Smooth Muscles. So that's the field for the Sumac Lad, just eight minutes away from post. So after a recall, the field of 10 for the Sumac Lad final lining up once again in behind the starting gate there at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Westland Sun is first away for the front. Yankee MJ is trying to leave between horses. Muscles Marinera highlined by Sears from the rail. But Westland Sun out trots him and clears the lead into the opening turn. Yankee MJ getting rough there. Yankee MJ goes on a break. Looking to get around him as he's striking. Great George 2 gapped the gate slightly. He comes away fifth, but he's seven lengths from the lead. Mr. Dream OM is moving up on the outside and has to squeeze through between the breaker there to his inside young pointer. The opening quarter in 27 and 1. Self Profess gains a spot, now racing in seventh. Eighth is Smooth Muscles off stride. Yankee MJ, he's easy broke leaving, and he's far behind trailing the field. And Muscles Marinera has moved around Westland Sun and taken the lead as the field tightens up before the half-mile marker. He's striking his racing in third, and here he comes for Ron Pierce on the outside. Muscles Marinera showing the whip, trying to quicken. So plenty of strategy here. He's striking, parked out by Muscles Marinera, and their heads apart as they reach the half, 56 and one. He's striking his trying to sprint around, and he does clear the lead from Muscles Marinera, who's been used twice already, and he's back in second. Westland Sun racing in third. Great George II, first over fourth. Young Pointer goes off stride. Mr. Dream OM is gapping cover there in fifth, and self profess moving up on the outside, further back to Smooth Muscles. He's striking, has some separation, two and a half lengths clear. Muscles Marinera highlined along, being driven hard in second. Great George II with five lengths to make up, three quarters and one, 24 and three and it's he striking at the top of the stretch off stride. He's striking, jumped it off on a big lead. Muscles Marinera moving back to the front. Self-professed is coming on into second. It's Muscles Marinera. Self-professed is charging hard for Mike Lachance and Self-professed picks up the pieces in the Sumac land. Self-professed will do it. He draws clear by four. Muscles Marinera second. Mr. Dream OM third. 153. Returning to the winner's circle is number eight, self-professed. Four-year-old gelding by self-possessed out of scent of a woman by Worthy Bowl. He was a Hamiltonian finalist last year. Recent purchase by Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York, and trainer Mark Ford. And Hall of Famer Mike Lachance is in the sulky. Self-professed, 153, a career-best effort to take the 2006 Sumac Lad final. The results posted official. The Sumac Lad, one of the few major stakes in the sport that Hall of Fame driver Mike Lachance has never won. This is his inaugural Sumac Lad victory coming today behind self-professed, the four-year-old self-possessed gelding. Rallying to score in 153. After the winner circle ceremonies and presentation, our own Bob Hollywood Hayden will speak with winning driver Mike Lachance and the connections of self-professed. Standing by in the winner's circle, we'd like to welcome an international dignitary, Claus Coach, who's driving, or just joining us today here at the Big M. Claus, one of the trotting experts from Europe, usually makes the Sumac Lad final a regular visit here at the Big M. We welcome him, and he will make the trophy presentation to the winning connection. Self-professed, the official winner of the Sumac Lad final.
We're here with the Sumac Lab winning connections, Mike Lachance and winning owner Marty Scharf. Mike, first, tell us a little bit about the start of the race here, the recall. Did it affect your horse at all? No, the, not at all. Uh, he was nice and relaxed uh, behind the gate, so I, when I brought him the second time, he was, I thought he was even better because he stretched a little bit there. Last week you drove him for the first time. What was your first impression? Well, he was very strong at the end last week, uh, just like he was a little bit light-gated light, uh, at the end. and. Whatever it was, the, the Mark uh, correct that uh, problem this week, and uh, he was just uh, just he was better today than he was last week. He was like a, in a stretch there, he was trotting a storm at the end, and uh, like uh, he was very very solid. Where were you during the uh, the lead exchange? Muscles Marinara, and he's striking when at it in the middle half there. Where were you at that point? I was back. I was about uh, eight or nine uh, on the outside. I was following John. Okay. He striking made a break, an early stretch, and at that point, you did you think you had it won? I, I really felt good in the middle of last turn. I had a ton of horse, and I knew they, they were uh, basically done in front there, and uh, I knew it was going to trot good in the stretch because he trot uh, nice and safe and uh, very, very strong the whole mile. A little extra special for you, knowing that he's a son of self-possessed, your 99 Hamiltonian record setter? Yeah, self-possessed was great to me, and even sons of self-possessed, uh, you know, they were good to me, so, you know, like uh, self-possessed, uh, Always going to stay uh, in uh, my uh, my mind uh, the best uh, trotter that I've set behind. So, Hall of Famer Michael Chance, congratulations. Marty Scharf, Mark Ford told me that they had an eye. You guys had an eye on this horse as a five and six year old. Can we consider this a bonus win for you here? <laughs> well, definitely yes. We looked at it as long term, and uh, we didn't think we'd come in in a couple of weeks. And Mark straightened them out, and and Mike made some uh, excellent recommendations, and you, you could see what happened today. And I talked to Mark Ford earlier this week. I asked him about later on. He said he might try some of the big races. Uh, I guess now, after winning the Simac Lad, that might be a little more of a consideration. Uh, absolutely. Um, just uh, an opportunity to get a horse like this. Um, I'm thankful to uh, Mark. And uh, at the same time, you know, you, you look forward to racing in big races to, just to compete. And it looks like this horse will be able to compete, hopefully, if he stays sound. So we're looking forward. And Gallo Blutchev, of course, is your marquee horse, but you're normally associated with Pacers. Tell us how you went to Trotters, how this came about. It's just uh, Trotters are tougher to get, good ones. And uh, Mark get a call from uh, Bob Bonney, who's a horse agent, someone we know. and. Uh, and once Mark told me about it, I wanted to uh, jump in. It was, we thought, an opportunity uh, to get a, a horse that competed last year pretty well against Classic and a Vivid Photo. And uh, we thought uh, maybe we'd get lucky. He'd grow into himself and, you know, be a good horse. So, so far, so good. And for those people wondering, where's Gallo Blue Chip? He's having a little bit of a fun week, isn't he? Yeah, in Ohio, they're doing a whole uh, big gig over there. Uh, uh, with uh, with Gallo and uh, Mark was there on Friday. You'd have to ask him a little more, but uh, it's very good, very good for the for the sport. Okay, connections are right here for Sumac Lad, the winning horse, self-professed here, winning for Marty Scharf, Mark Ford, and Michael Johnson.